A many friends of mine have asked me how to improve English vocabulary. My answer to them would be dedication, devotion and effort are the keys of learning a foreign language. Besides all these, there are skills that you would require to learn and acquire the language that you want to learn. We are talking about languages which are other than mother languages and we formally said other languages. In order to retain and memorize the word, you have to learn the word in a context. When you learn a word without context, you perhaps would be able to understand its meaning but you would fail to use it correctly. So learning a word in a context is the key. In spite of all this, the most crucial thing for memorizing a word is that we all have to understand the basic principle of learning a second language. Why are you learning a language? We all in fact learn languages including that of our mother tongue. In order to express ourselves accurately and effectively. There are two very basic concepts here, accuracy and effectiveness. I mean to say, if you are expressing yourself very much accurately and effectively, you have already acquired the language. Now what does accurate mean here? The concept of accuracy could be defined as correct in all details. In the same way, if we have to understand the word effectively, then the meaning is successful in producing a desired or intended result. within a given span of time. So time is important. So an effective learner would always concentrate on how to express himself very accurately and in a very compact way. The meaning of effectiveness is very important and it in fact defines how well one has mastered a language. When we talk particularly about those who in fact are Chinese speakers and learning English as a second language, most of the time what they face is the problem of pronunciation. And I have seen them in a very funny way indulging in correcting their own pronunciation and it takes a lot of effort lot of lot of lot of time it must be understood that our main goal of learning a foreign language is to communicate ourselves effectively and accurately in academic terms if I have to learn Chinese I would like to learn Chinese language I mean to say academically. Conceptually that you should understand very well is information. When we talk about correct in all details, that is the concept of accuracy, 
it in fact is about or is related to the information that you want to convey. The question arises, what is information? Information is what is conveyed or represented by a particular arrangement or sequence of symbols or things. Sequencing in grammar is called concord. And the way you configure a language of yours as an expression is very much particular to yourself and the sort of concept called I language. This I language is individual language and which is particular to each person and varies from person to person, individual to individual. It is the way how we have been wired and the way how we have been structured here in our mind. When you talk about effective communication, you have to talk about acquisition. Acquisition of skills gives you the ability to convey yourself, communicate yourself very much effectively and therefore the recipient of your information understands you in a very easy manner. Here, all complicacy of learning a second language comes into being. Because maybe the words that you think is heavy, loaded with emotion, perhaps is not that much loaded if you have not been into the environment where this language is spoken. The degree of in or intangibility of emotion that is in fact carried by those words might vary from people's understanding to understanding how they have been reared, what they have experienced in their life. And therefore, I language defies and differentiates, also defines the meaning of the language very differently. So you have to understand first, why are you learning a language? And once you are able to conceptualize it, you will be able to memorize the words that you want to learn. Words could be learned into a context. So for students in particular, I would say, when you learn a story, Try to learn this story in such a way that if somebody asks you about a word, you can also tell him where and when this was used and what was the particular sentence. Greetings. Where and when it is used in your text and what is the sentence. Alright? Very important. Now the context, when we say context, this means the text or speech that comes immediately before and after a particular phrase or a piece of text that helps us understand the meaning of the word used in a very detailed and clear way. So it is very much important to understand the context. Next thing that I want to in fact emphasize is when you are testing a student for his vocabulary skill and ability, don't simply ask him or her from the other language to the native language. The meanings of the words or sentences or even expressions could be easily conveyed by him or her into his native language. 
because acquiring a second language would need the skills of engineering higher level level of cognizance and this can only be tested when he or she expresses himself in the other language what does this mean is when you are asking a student about the meaning of the word don't ask him from English to English only ask them Chinese to English expressing yourself in second language would require higher level of cognizance persistence devotion and also engineering ability those who cannot express themselves in second language or foreign language for sure they are not persistent and they somewhere or other cannot learn higher level of skills because all the skills that are complicated does not only require intelligence also requires persistence and patience and that is in fact a kind of necessary requirement for learning for a language you have to learn it every day you have to decode it every day you have to code it every day if you want to express yourself rightfully